Apple released the public beta for iOS 14 last week and I'm here a week later to talk about it. But today we're not going to be talking about all the new features that come in the new software update. Today we're going to be talking about the privacy features that comes in iOS 14 because we are so dependent on our phone these days that we keep most of our information in them. So let's check out these features. If you're freaking paranoid about your data and how others are using it, you'll feel better when you update your phone to iOS 14. There's a bunch of new privacy-related features that'll help you lessen the information you can give to others. The first one I discovered is related to photos library. So you can now select which photo you want each app to have access to. Like if you only allow a few, then the next time you launch the app, it will show if you want to add more photos or you can just keep the current selection. You can also go to the settings to change your options. So just select on the app and photos and you can switch between selected photos or photos or none depending on how much access you want to give that certain apps. So now you can take hundreds of weird selfies without worrying that the apps will have access to them. Another important feature is the new location sharing options. Instead of sharing your specific location, you can choose to share approximate location so that apps and developers can roughly know where you are, but not the exact spot. So if you're secretly a spy and worry these apps can be used against you, well, iOS 14 just saved your life. Speaking of which, there's also a new tracking tab in your privacy settings which lets you choose uh, whether developers need to request before tracking you. There's only a toggle right now, so we're expecting more from this in the upcoming beta. Apple also added a light indicator when your microphone or camera is activated. Basically, you'll see a green light when your camera is being used and an orange light when your microphone is activated. This will probably put some of you at ease if you've been hearing rumors that apps like Facebook will secretly eavesdrop on you iOS 14 made sure that they can't do so with these indicators. And you know how sometimes you're looking at products on a website and suddenly all the ads you get are of similar topic? That's because you've been tracked by the sites you visit. Apple introduced an intelligent tracking prevention feature a while back and now you can get a website privacy report on what is blocked. So this Safari's website privacy report, it shows you the amount of trackers that were blocked in the last 30 days and all the websites that has these trackers. iOS 14 also has a new menu called security recommendations under password, but it'll need my face ID. So I'm just gonna put in my face ID first. It shows you the risk you're facing and suggests changes based on the current risk. So for example, reusing your password on different platforms can be dangerous once you're hacked. The same goes to using a password so simple that others can guess it. So iOS 14 will then advise you to change your password for higher security. Even though iOS 14 has some good features and some Android-like features, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Don't download it yet. Beta versions are usually buggy and can often crash your devices. And it's true to a certain extent for the iOS 14 public beta too. I've experienced some lag, some app crashes, some bugs. So if you want a good phone experience, a smooth phone experience, I recommend you not download it yet. But if you've already downloaded it, let me know how was your beta experience. Do you like iOS 14 more or do you still prefer iOS 13? That's it for our video today. I hope you like this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel, Care Gadget TV, and I'll see you in the next one.